What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today, well, the doctor is going to get some surgery. He's going to get some upgrades to it. And here we go. I'm going to show you those part numbers. You guys can write those down if you desire. Anyway, so we got aluminum drive shaft, got some different splines to match with uh, this spline here or with the drive shaft itself. That's a 50 tooth spur gear. It's 32 pitch. Also, I have a little 18 tooth uh, pinion gear that's there as well. That's going to be a, a five millimeter bore that's on there so that's not going to be like what would come stock with it and also as far as this out of the Traxxas slash that I had lying around so that's just going to be a slipper clutch that I can put in there because the one I had in there you guys were probably asked you I know some of you guys were asking like uh, you're still running the stock setup I did and I just kept tightening it down a little bit as it melted the plastic but anyway um, that's where we're at with it and it needed the upgrade because of the drive shaft and all that stuff that's just a GoPro mount just in case you guys were wanting to know in regards to that and that is the GoPro hero seven black so i like that camera it's got a nice stabilization on it all right so let's get into this enough talking all right let me go ahead and quickly go over what screws need to come screw out here screw here take that off this is going to be that little cover on that part of it then on the flip side you can already see these two this screw and this screw and then you can just pull that whole rear end off of there then when it comes to the front it's gonna be a screw, screw here screw here right there and also right over there and then i'll be able to at least get most of it off of there just because of the fact that the steering linkage will still be hooked up but i'll have access enough to get what i need to put those splines on and in the meantime i'm going to go ahead and time lapse me at least pulling the rear off of there and then i'll do the same thing with the the front as well time lapse that all right now that i have the screws out i'm just going to go ahead and get this rear off of here so put that aside because we don't need to get to use that right now also I'm gonna go ahead and get this front taken off so I'm gonna go ahead and time-lapse that all right just want to show you this too so that spring anyway that got melted into there that's actually that that little bit that you see on there on this around the spring is actually the plastic that melted as I was tightening this thing it just kept digging down into the plastic of this so anyway that's what happened so that's no good and this is because it's brushless power it just has a lot of power to it so that's what happened so that's why i'm going with this little upgrade as well i did put the spur gear on there already Wait, you guys can see what that is 50 turn or 50 tooth 0.8 anyway all right so i'm gonna go ahead and install that but before i do that i need to go ahead and get this drive shaft out of the plastic get that part installed then go ahead and take that little black spline that's there that one and I'll show you as far as the front of the drive shaft so I'll go ahead and at least get this area as far as the rear kind of taken care of and then we'll go from there and I'll put that drive shaft in there all right so that was pretty easy on that part of it um, you know when it comes to just pulling this and putting it back together I just rock I just rolled the, the rear wheels a little bit until that little notch engages into the back there as far as that little differential so then it's good to go. Now I'll go ahead and I'm gonna have to move this uh, drive shaft. I gotta pull it out through the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some screws in the rear here. That way we don't that thing doesn't keep falling out. All right, so on to the front here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out there enough. Pull that through. So you can definitely tell there's a difference between that front and the rear of this drive shaft. That's why you, you need the you need this little kit here or this these little splines because they're different. Anyway, and it, def, it definitely has a different size diameter, so you got to get that little kit. I don't know if they have a metal one because I feel like this other one is plastic, so we'll see. All right, let's get that out of the bag because I definitely need that right now. All right, so you also you need the grub screw for it, that little screw that's there, and this. Now, unfortunately, I don't know why they give you one metal one. And they give you a plastic one. Uh, hopefully that holds up. I mean, we're doing upgrades to it. Figure it would be, well, you know, metal. Anyway, thanks, Traxxas. <laughs> All right, so now you can see that's on there. A little bit of oozing of the Loctite, thread locker, what have you. Blue stuff. So anyway, let me go ahead. Let's get this drive shaft in there. All right, so I'm just going to run this drive shaft through so I can at least get it on to the rear, and then that way I can just put it on to the front. All right, so that's been installed. Lovely, lovely. Let's 
go ahead, get this thing screwed back together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, remove this motor. Obviously, I already loosened it up. And I'll need to remove this pinion gear off and put my, since that's a 48 pitch, gonna go with that 32 pitch, uh, 18 tooth. So we'll see how that works. Anyway, then I'll get my Loctite on there. All right, so I got the 32 pitch pinion gear on there. You can see like, too, man, that clay, that, I don't know if you got, wherever you guys live, you guys got clay or you're running on a baseball field or whatever, not getting in trouble for it, um, is uh, that stuff's pretty nasty. It gets into everything. It was all gunked up in my uh, pinion gear and spur gear. There's little t pieces of rock that were in there. So it was just chewing away on my spur gear. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I left this loose just so the fact that when I put this motor in there, I can adjust it to where it needs to be lined up. I do like this little system that uh, Traxxas has, just that one, pretty much one screw, man, and just make that little bit of adjustment. All right, other than putting on this little cover here, I've already meshed up the gears and everything like that, smooth on that part of it. The only thing I need to do besides that is that I didn't do it, was just adjust my slipper clutch here. So all I, this is what I do. I just use like this small little baby little crescent wrench, what have you. And then I'll just go ahead. This comes in it. This is a little Traxxas one here. You guys come up have your own little system as well. But I'll go in here and I've already tightened this thing down. But yeah, that's what I do is I just come in here, tighten this thing down and I'm good to go. So that's what I've done. So if you notice, like if you ran yours and you said, oh, well, you didn't tell me. And this thing, you just start sitting there and you're spinning. Those clutches are just, you know, just spinning away. That's, that's what you need to tighten up anyhow, that little tensioner. So anyway, that is it, guys. So I hope that was informative enough for you. Hopefully, uh, you know, if you're doing the same upgrade, it'll work out well for you as well. Anyway, until next time, I appreciate you guys watching as always. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. And until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching.